Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are at Silverstone National Circuit and I'm going to be taking a behind the scenes look at what's going on with Nissan's GT Academy Team RJN. So here we are in Team RJN's pit. They've got three Nissans that they're running today. This here is the GT4 Class uh, 370Z. It's got 410 horsepower, weighs 1,300 kilograms. Behind it, we have a 370Z 3.7 liter engine. I'm here with Johnny. He is a technician responsible for this GT4 car you see behind me. Um, Johnny, if you could just tell me some of the things that you work on, uh, what you're out here doing during the day, before the race, during the race, after the race. Okay, well, this is obviously one of the many cars in the RJN uh, GT Academy stable. The other's been the GTR, GT3 Nissan. Okay. Um, but this weekend we've got this one. This car is fresh from the Dubai 24 hours. It's done a couple of uh, test days since, but essentially as it finished, we re-prepped it. But okay. it's uh, still good to go. And uh, this weekend we're here with Chris Hoy and obviously trying to get him a license signature, etc. etc. So we've obviously the cars were here yesterday. We've set up all our kit this morning. Mm -hmm. We've already done qualifying, which was uh, very successful. Eight position, very happy with that. We've done the normal spanner checks to the car. Make check the oil level, basic things. You know, most of the preparation we do is in the in the workshop. Okay. You know, if we've done our job right in the workshop, we shouldn't really be touching these cars at a racetrack. Yeah. So your your main thing is prepping it beforehand yeah, and yeah, making yeah. sure that's where the hours go. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, so now, yeah, we've done qualifying. We're obviously getting ready for a race. So we'll do all proper safety checks. We'll make sure everything's like where it should be and doing everything it should be. So what all is included in that safety check? Well, mostly it's visual to be honest. Like we everything. We have on the car is torque checked but it's also okay. paint marked so that gives us a quick reference if we want to see if we haven't got a lot of time between sessions we can easily see if anything's hanging on but a lot of it is just visual um, making sure everything's where it should be but we will have a torque wrench on the car anyway because we like to make sure everything's correct mm -hmm. um, but yeah a lot of it goes back to the driver feedback as well if there's something wrong with the car the driver will tell you that he'll feel what's going on with the car and we can work from that awesome yeah. So the first race here has started. Uh, we've got multiple classes of cars out on the track. Uh, so you've got these smart cars running by, as well as the GT Academy 350 and 370Zs out there. So Hector here is gonna be looking at the timing of one of the 370Zs. He's just gonna be tracking, make sure in the pace of the vehicle and write down the times as it goes around. So I'm here with Rob, he's the driver coach for the GT Academy, and Rob, what do you do here, uh, and what sort of things are you working on before and during the race, uh, as well as after the cars come in? Well, we've got a big difference in uh, drivers' experience today, obviously, uh, so Chris Hoy's got an international race license, so preparation is really just getting him familiar with the car, the, the car's controls, okay. and, and briefing on the, the dynamic of this particular vehicle, because it does differ from what he's experienced. With the other guys, Darren Cox and uh, Andy Palmer, They've got much less experience, so we've been doing a lot more work with those guys in the simulator, okay. out on the on the track as well, just preparing them for for a, for a race. They were here to gain some upgrade signatures on their license. To do that, you have to finish both races, which they both achieved. So they're both leaving fairly happy. And it's been a difficult day for them guys out there because we've had all kinds of weather going out as it was raining this morning, so very wet qualifying, yep. uh, and then it's got ever drier as the day has gone on. So they've had to adapt, and uh, they've done a remarkable job. Now, when they come in and you're looking at their lap times and, and looking at the footage, what are you kind of uh, looking for to tell them how to improve these times uh, and tweak on, on their driving? Yes, we, we use regular time type of telemetry so we can look at their wheel speed and gear shifts, etc. etc. We also have a video system in the car so we can see exactly what they're doing if they're being too aggressive with the car or not aggressive enough sometimes. So we look at all aspects of their driving and hopefully improve them for the next session. But obviously, the weather's played its part today. As the weather's changed, you know, they really have been able to make big steps forward because they've been adapting to the, to the conditions. But on a normal, regular day where the conditions remain the same, that's how we improve them looking at telemetry and video. So did some of the lap times improve from the earlier session this morning to this afternoon? The lap times did improve as the day went on, but a lot of that, to be fair, is down to the improving weather. So I can't claim that I've made them 20% better. You've them everything, yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, the weather's made the difference Instilled today. confidence in them. <laughs> Well, thanks for your help and thanks for talking with me right here. No worries. So I'm here with Bob. He's the team owner of RJN. Um, he was running these three cars out here today. So tell me a little bit about what you do um, and the event today and how the cars did. 
Well, uh, as you say, I'm the team owner, so uh, I own the team and the cars and so on. But I race exclusively for Nissan, which I have done now for nearly 20 years. Okay. Um, today we bought three Zeds, all different specification Zeds, for various people to do uh, different exercises on the racetrack here in Silverstone. So what are some of the differences between the three cars we've got? Well, the car that Chris Hoy drove, so okay. Chris Hoy, should I say, yes. uh, is, a, is a straightforward GT4 car, Okay. Um, which in Europe is, there's GT3, which is the most popular, and then the GT4, which is one stage down, obviously. Um, so that's the most powerful car we bought today. All right. And then um, a car which we used to te uh, a teach our young Academy graduates, Nissan GT Academy graduates, in their first races. And an old car from way back, which we built more than 10 years ago, um, for just just for a bit of fun. So do we have power differences between yeah. the three cars? Yeah, yeah. And weight differences yeah. as well? Weight, and different power, okay. yeah. yeah. All right. So the, the older car being the least powerful? The, old, the older is car is the lightest, okay. at about 1,100 kilos, but it's only got a standard engine now for okay. cost reasons. And that's so it's 3.5? Yeah, 3.5 litre, about 320 horsepower. And how the cars do today on the track? They did brilliantly. I mean, you, you've been here today. You saw uh, Chris had a fabulous two races, a third podium and then fourth in the last race. Yep. And got better time yeah. than his previous one. Yep. And um, Darren and Andy, I think they came 11th and 12th in that race. So the last awesome. race, very good. And, and, and for Andy, it's his first race as ever. Uh, so he's delighted yep. to have finished. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me out here, and congratulations on the third place with uh, Chris Hoy. Yeah, great. And you saw the GTRs yes. in our workshop? Yes, yeah. I did. Yep, yeah, we were there yesterday. That was awesome. So, hopefully there's been some good insight here into the lives of the race engineers on Team RJN. Chris Hoy actually finished third overall in his first race, so a good win for Nissan there. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And don't forget to head over to Nismo's channel, check out some additional videos of these cars out on the track, as well as others. Thanks for watching.